Hello and uh, welcome all of you students once again. So today I just continue with our uh, previous topic. Last time we were discussed regarding the dis different types of the operating system with example. So this session last time we have started and uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed the first four type of the operating system. Like uh, last time we have seen the batch operating system, then the multi-programming operating system. Uh, then we have seen the multi-processing operating system and also uh, we have seen last time the time sharing operating system. Okay. So today we will discuss the remaining kind of operating system with example and some details. So what is the operating system that uh, already from the last uh, three lectures we are discussing it is nothing but the kind of system program uh, on which we can run the different kind of application program and other system program and uh, so that particular operating system as a system program act as a communication bridge or the interface between the user and the computer hardware. Okay. So there are the different tasks that is performed by the operating system like uh, main task in the allocation of resources and the services. So various kind of allocation of resources is done by the operating system like uh, resources like the memory allocation then the device allocation, processors allocation and the uh, handling the one of the important resource that is the information. Okay. So uh, in order to do all these tasks, operating system consists of the different small modules uh, within its, uh, okay. Uh, like uh, operating system is a combined uh, system program, which is informed with the help of the different kind of uh, software modules. Like we have in order to uh, keep the track of the process, we have the traffic controller, then we have to, you know, to manage the uh, process and the processor, we have the scheduler, then you know, to manage the memory, we have the memory management module, as well as you know, to manage the different input output device or the input output programs, and you know, to handle the files, we have the file system module within a operating system as a system program. So, if you want to utilize the application like browser, semi office, notepad, games, etc., etc., so only way you can run these all these things uh, and uh, platform you required for all these things is nothing but the operating system. So, as you know, you cannot directly communicate with the computer as uh, our language cannot be understood by the computer directly. And that is the reason we have to take the help of the operating system to communicate with the computer. Okay. So, if you don't have the operating system on the computer or uh, even the, if you don't have the operating system on the mobile, then you cannot uh, utilize uh, the computer or the mobile. Okay. So, that is nothing but the importance of operating system. So last time already we have discussed the this is a first four operating system. Okay. So today we'll discuss the remaining operating system. Okay. And then this part will be finished. So our fifth operating system is nothing but the network operating system. Okay. So from the name only you can understand what exactly is this network operating system. So generally a uh, network operating system, as you can see in these figures, there is a one file server and uh, to this file server different other computers as a client are attached okay our network network in the sense of the group of different computers connected together so what do you mean by the server so in the computer science server is nothing but the kind of computer that serves the information to the other computers means this is a also this is also the computer but uh, on this computer the kind of operating system install is nothing but the network operating system and what is the role this being performed by the server is nothing but the sharing of the different kind of information to the different these computers, as well as sharing of the different kind of uh, what we can say the other things like files, printers, other security application that everything can be shared from this particular main computer to which you are calling as a server. So here I have mentioned the server is a computer that serves the information to the other computers. Okay, so other computer means clients. Okay, client can connect to the server through either local area network or the wide area network, uh, such as the internet. So client can be connected to this file server using the internet also uh, instead of the physical connections. Okay, but mostly the network operating system work betterly if you have the physical connection with all of these particular client computers. Okay, so that is nothing but the network operating system where to the single server different kind of cloud client computers are connected understood and that different client computer can share the information from that file server okay 
the different client computer can share can get the access of different files can get the access of other hardware device like printers uh, as well as the uh, all the client computer can get the access of uh, security application and other networking function uh, can be accessed by these client computers from the server understood so there is a kind of network is forming and uh, you can see uh, on this the particular network operating system is being installed and because of that this sharing become possible okay as well as each of these client computer is having their uh, cpu uh, ram uh, memory as well as their operating system okay so here i have mentioned the same thing this system run on a server means operating system run on a server and provide the capability to manage the data user groups security application and other networking function this type of os allows to share the different files printer security application and other native function over a small private network so same thing uh, we have discussed on this particular machine system the network operating system is installed and because of that it become possible to manage the data it become possible to share the data from this server to all the computers of uh, like client it become possible to share the hardware device like if you just have install the printer or scanner on this particular file server so there is a no need to install that printer and server on this other device you can other this client device can access the printers uh, and the uh scanner from this device only or you can place the uh, different files here uh, for the security purpose and that files can be accessed by the client only from the servers with the permission of the servers okay so that is nothing but the network operating system here i have mentioned the one more important aspect of uh, network operating system is that all the users are all aware of underlying configuration of all other users within the network and their individual connection etc that's why these computers are popularly known as a tightly coupled system so means what this uh, uh, yeah, this particular client computers okay okay other uh, different kind of term called client computers as a users are uh, they are well known and they are all having the information regarding the what are the different information stored on this file server what is the configuration of its neighbor client computers okay Uh, so every details are available with each of these user clients okay and they each of these clients are being uh, uh, what you can say physically connected with this point particular kind of servers understood and that is the reason such kind of system is referred as a tightly coupled system okay so uh, each of these client each of this server now server is aware of how many devices are connected to uh, itself and which are other client devices are connected to the itself so server knows uh, everything as well as this client also know about the uh, what kind of connection has been made to this server also the client uh, know the configuration of this server configuration of other client machine etc so there is a quite transparency uh, between this client connection to the server and the content of server content of other clients etc that is the reason this uh, statement i have mentioned one one more aspect of network operating system is that all the users are aware of underlying configuration of all other users within the network their individual connections etc that is the why these computers are properly known as a tightly coupled system okay so that is the main uh, thing related with the network operating system so there are the some of the advantages and the disadvantages are also there related with this kind of uh, operating system so first we will discuss about the advantages of uh, network operating system so one of the advantage is nothing but the highly stable centralized server so this is a this is a highly stable centralized server it is it is having the uh, large capacity to store the information and to share the information okay so security concerns are handled through the server so uh, client which are connected to this server then there is a no need for the clients to think or uh, Uh, to worry about the security so everything uh, regarding the security that is managed by the server itself if some new technology new hardware upgradation comes then uh, integration of that also the easy in the network operating system okay so these are the some uh, important advantages of network operating system so okay and also you know along with the uh, different advantages uh, some disadvantages also used to be there so as uh, we have discussed the server is having the great capacity to store the information it can provide the uh, security also and uh, upgradation of new technology hardware also easy so that is the reason the cost of this kind of server is very high these are the costly okay 
and uh, another disadvantage user has to be centrally depend on this particular computer as a server okay and also maintenance and the updations are also the uh, uh, mandatory requirement and maintenance and updation also need to be done regularly in case of the network operating system okay so these are the points regarding the uh, advantages and some disadvantages so another important point is nothing but the different kind of examples related with the network operating system so which are the network operating system available in the market you must have heard about the microsoft windows server 2003 also in our college uh, college uh, also there is a server uh, is there okay then uh, microsoft windows server 2008 then uh, unix okay uh, unix uh, operating system is also the network operating system unix then or uh, linux mac os then novel netware and uh, bsd these are the different examples of uh, network operating system uh, which are available in the market nowadays okay so that is uh, all about the network operating system so let's see the next kind of operating system that is uh, also the important and mostly popular operating system nowadays that is the distributed operating system and you can see the scenario of the distributed operating system here and uh, from this you can easily understand what exactly this uh, distributed operating system now here you can see the central point the operating system is there on some machine and this operating system is shared by the all other machines or you can say all other client machine okay you can consider this as a client machine also but these all other machines are having the cpu disk and the memory can see cpu disk memory cpu disk memory so these all the machine are not having the operating system okay they are referring which operating system this centrally located operating system understood so one of the important point here you should note down in case of the distributed operating system all the machines are having the same kind of operating system because all of these client machines are sharing this operating system understood but that is not the case in case of our previous operating system that we have discussed now that is the network operating system in case of the network operating system that different client and the server might have the different operating system understood that point just let me tell you here this scenario this scenario you can see this here the operating system install might be the different here might be the different here might be the different here might be the different all right okay that is the case in case of the network operating system but in case of the distributed operating system the operating systems which is utilized by these all the machines are same okay all the computers share the same operating system understood that is the reason it is being referred as a distributed operating system so here i have mentioned this type of operating system is a recent advancement in the world of computer technology and are widely being utilized all over the world uh, and uh, with very uh within a very less amount of time this operating system has become famous okay so various uh, autonomous interconnected computers communicate with each other using the shared communication network means these are all the interconnected automatic uh, uh, these are all the autonomous interconnected computers understood which is sharing this particular operating system which is being installed somewhere remote location understood and that is the main feature of distributed operating system is that all the computers which are connected uh, in case of the distributed networks that all the uh, computers are sharing the same kind of operating system okay so, and uh, as i have i have mentioned here independent system having their memory unit cpu and disk so you can see each of these uh, individual computers are having their cpu disk memory but everybody is sharing the same kind of operating system so this is become that is this is this whole scenario is nothing but the referred as or distributed operating system means here operating system is share between the all the number of user or client computer okay these are being referred as a loosely coupled system or distributed system okay so there are the, there is a certain reason why this is being referred as a loosely coupled system okay what is the reason that we'll see in the next slide okay so this uh, processors which are being i have shown you here in the different computers so they might be having the different size okay they might be having the different functions also it is not like that every processor which is there uh, in these computers which are connected to this central operating system having the same configuration each of these cpu or the processor might have the different configuration size okay so major benefit that we can get 
uh, utilizing this kind of operating system is that okay uh, one important benefit we can get is nothing but what uh, even if you have the uh, some files or uh, important information stored centrally it can be easily accessed by the other computers there is a no need that this every computer must store that particular information so you can store the information centrally and it can be accessed by all other computers so same thing i have mentioned here the major benefit of working with this type of operating system is that it is always possible that one user can access the files or software which are not actually present on his system but some other system connected within network that is remote access is enabled within device connected in that network means even some xyz software is needed by this system or this user or this user or this user but that software is not present uh, in their memory but it is present on that central uh, location where the distributed operating system is installed so on that machine so everybody can access that software or the files from this central location understood because all these computers might be connected to this central location from different uh, geographical location so remotely different this uh, remotely these different uh, client computers or the users can communicate with these central computers where the distributed operating system is installed okay and as they are remotely connected there is no need of any kind of physical connection with this central location central computer where the uh, distributed operating system is installed there is a no need of physical connection the, this other client computer can connected with can connect with this central location computer where the distributed operating system is installed through the, some software or wirelessly okay no need of the any kind of wire network here wireless network using the wireless network uh, this all the different client computer can connected with this particular central computer where the distributed operating system is installed and that is the reason this kind of system is referred as a loosely coupled system where each processor has its own local memory okay and a processor communicate with one another through the various communication lines such as the high speed buses and the telephone lines okay it means uh, this through the internet all other client computer can uh, through the internet all other this client computer can connect it with this uh, particular central uh, computer where the distributed operating system is installed okay so by loosely coupled system uh, it means that such computers uh, not having any kind of uh, hardware connection at the cpu or the memory bus level but these uh, computers are connected by the external interfaces that run under the control of software means using some softwares and using the taking the help of internet this all other computers are connected to this central computers where the distributed operating system is installed there is no need of any hardware connection of these computers with this uh, central computers or this computer with this uh, central uh, computer okay so this uh, it is possible to remotely connect all the computers with this central computers where the distributed operating system is installed there is a no need of hardware connections okay that is the reason these systems are referred as what uh, loosely coupled systems okay so accordingly uh, these distributed operating systems are having the some advantages as well as the some disadvantages and one of the important advantage is what failure of one will not affect the other network communication as all system are independent uh, as all system are not independent from uh, each other okay as all system are uh, independent of each other okay so this is not all systems are independent from each other means if this system get fails okay it will not going to affect on the other these computers because each of these computers are uh, uh, okay independent understood so that is the main reason here even if one computer get fail other computer can uh, work properly and they can do the whatever the task that is assigned understood so failure of one will not affect the other network uh, computers as all systems are uh, independent from each other okay then next advantage we have since resources are being shared computation is highly fast and the durable okay so using these operating system resources that is one of the important resource that is shared is the operating system understood and that is the reason uh, the computation or processing is fast if you utilize the distributed operating system okay so another advantage is load on the host computer reduce okay load on the host computer reduce in the sense this is the main computer okay using this computer different uh, work can be shared within other computers okay if some if some work is there which has to be 
completed by the central computers then this central computer using the distributed operating system can share the works with the other different computers which are connected to it that is the reason the load on this central computer get reduced okay and because uh, because of that also one of the another advantage we have delay in the data processing reduce so as the task is divided in other all other computers so uh, we can get the maximum speed for the processing and uh, that that is the reason delay in the processing get reduced okay so these are the different uh, advantages we can have then uh, based on that also we have the different disadvantage also failure of main network will stop the entire communication as in the advantages point we have seen failure of one machine will not affect the whole network but if this central uh, if this particular main network where uh, where the operating system is installed and it is being shared by all other uh, network computers so if this central uh, main network get fail then all other uh, it will affect on all other computers which are connected to it that is the main disadvantage okay this type of systems are not readily available as they are very expensive means these are not the ready made systems available if you want to utilize this you have to uh, give the order for that and then uh, you have to pay for that and uh, as you can see the functionality is huge functionality is more that is the reason these are also very expensive okay and uh, understanding this whole structure is very complex okay and uh, uh, software which we utilize to manage all these things these are also the very complex in case of the distributed operating system one of the one of the example of distributed operating system uh, the that is nothing but the locus so locus is also the one of the great example of distributed operating system which are available in the market okay so from this uh, now if you see the previous two operating system uh, fifth operating system we have discussed the network operating system and the sixth we have to discuss the distributed operating system now in that you might be seeing some similarity but there are a the lot of differences also the similarity is nothing but the both of are being both of these operating system being installed on some central location like here also but here uh, this operating system install on this central location okay and as well as each of these client are having the different operating system also in case of the network operating system but in case of distributed operating system this uh, operating system which is installed here that is being shared by all other okay that is the main difference between the network operating system and the distributed operating system the same thing i have put down here the main difference between these two operating system that is the network operating system and distributed operating system is that in case of the network operating system each node or system can have its own operating system means each client that i have shown you in the network operating system they each of these uh, each of that machine or client might have the different operating system of their own but that is not the case in case of distributed operating system in case of the distributed operating system each node or the system have the same operating system which is opposite to the network operating system so that is the main difference in case of the network operating system the client which are connected to the server that each of the client may have the different operating system okay our server may have the different operating system as compared to the client but in case of the distributed operating system each of the system which are connected to the central communication network each of that operating system is same each of the operating system which is utilized on that each of the uh, client computer or connected computer to the central main network each of that is having the same kind of operating system okay so also other differences i have also mentioned here uh, like in case of the network operating system and the distributed operating system so in case of network operating system main objective is to provide the local services to the clients okay so mostly it is popular uh, to manage the local services like uh, uh, sharing the printer scanner files within a, a limited area as opposite to that the distributed operating system main objective is to manage the hardware resources okay and give the access to the different client computers uh, to the different uh, hardware res resources okay uh, as well as uh, distribute the operating system within all the client computers okay in network operating system the communication takes place on the basis of files in network in distributed operating system communication takes place on the basis of messages and the shared memory third difference we have in case of the network operating system is these are more scalable and distributed operating system are less scalable as compared with the network operating system okay 
in case of the network operating system false tolerance is less as uh, opposite to that in case of the distributed operating system fault tolerance is high then rate of autonomy in network operating system is high whereas in case of the rate of autonomy in distributed operating system is less as operating the single uh, central communication operating central uh, the operating system, operating system which is installed on the central computer is being shared by all other computers that is the reason uh, the autonomy is less here then ease of implementation in network operating system is high the you know to implement network operating system it is easy task but uh, implementing the uh, distributed operating system is a difficult okay then uh, last and most important difference in network operating system all nodes or client computers have the different operating system but in case of the distributed operating system all nodes have the same operating system so this last difference is the most important if you want to compare the network operating system and the distributed operating system okay so that's it from the uh, distributed versus the network operating system let's see the seventh kind of operating system and which is mostly uh, which is uh, most popular nowadays in some uh, limited areas in the market okay that is the distributed operating uh, sorry the real time operating system okay now for the real time operating system no specific diagram we have shown just uh, kind of uh, uh, scenario we have shown like a uh, uh, real time operating system uh, being utilized to interface between the hardware and various other application programs okay but now the important thing you must understand uh, regarding the uh, real time operating system is what what kind of uh, application or in which kind of application or in which kind of area uh, this kind of operating system is utilized now this kind of operating system uh, if you see the uh, general computers which is being utilized by the programmer or the user in that case such kind of operating system is not required understood then where it is required here i have mentioned the real time operating system is operating system that is intended to serve real time application that process the data as it comes in mostly without buffer delay means from the name only you can understand real time operating system means this is the operating system which is utilized in the such kind of application where processing of the data processing of the data has to be done so quickly without any kind of buffer delay without any kind of delay so in the application area where the processing of information required without any kind of delay the data has to be processed as soon as the data comes or as soon as the data i will become available at that instant only the data processing has to be done without any kind of delay then such in that such kind of application the kind of operating system required that operating system is called as a real time operating system so the full form of rtos is real time operating system here i have mentioned so that from this discussion we can say it is a time bound system what it is a time bound system that can be defined as a fixed time constraint means in this type of system processing must be done inside the specified constraint otherwise the system will fail means if you have some application uh, where you want to we want to process some task at the time one at the time 10.50 am if you want to process some task at the 10.50 am it means that that task must be get process at the 10 point at the at the time 10.50 am only at the time 10.50 am only not more than any single second not before any single second of this 50 10.50 minutes for example okay 10.50 minutes 00 second suppose you want to process some xyz task at this time then your task must be get executed or your task must be get completed or your task must be get start at the 10 50 at the at the time 
and zero zero second time only. Not the time ten fifty zero one second also, or not at the time, not at the time ten ten forty nine minutes fifty nine second. So not even the difference of, or not even the delay of. Single second is allowed in case of real-time operating system. So there are the number of applications are available in the market where the task or data processing has to be processed at that instant only without any kind of delay. Now that kind of now in case of such kind of application, the kind of operating system that is required that is is called as the real-time operating system. Means the certain task if you want to perform within a Particular time bound only, not before the time, not after that time. Then that is being considered as a fixed time constraint. Task has to be completed. So in this kind of system, processing must be done within a specified constraint. If the task will not get start at that specified time, or your task will not get completed at specified time, then your system might be get fail. Understood. so in order to complete your task within a time bound or within a fixed time constraint without any kind of delay the kind of operating system is utilized that is called as a real time operating system okay so it is not like that kind of operating system you utilize on the system like windows 10 we utilize suppose windows 10 we utilize and you uh, open your computer and if you click on some file then uh, you don't you don't have to worry about that Uh, when this file will uh, open because even if, even if you click on that file and it will take the 5 second 10 second then also it is not going to affect uh, on you understood because that is not the any kind of time bound system if you click on some files general user understood but that kind of 5 or 10 time of delay is not allowed in certain applications which are uh, like missile system missile system now missile has to be shoot at the certain time only okay you cannot uh, we cannot have the any kind of delay in the shooting the missiles okay if there is a certain delay in the shooting the missiles at that time your enemy might hit you okay and you might get dead understood so that is so in case of a missile system the kind of operating system is utilized that is nothing but the real time operating system because missile has to be shoot within that particular time only as well as you can see the flight flight control system okay airplane control system airplane has to be launch at the certain time only not before the time not after the time so also there are the another applications are there that we'll see in the next slide but here you must understand what exactly the real time operating system is nothing but what the operating system which is utilized in the certain application here the task has to be start or task has to be completed within a time bound or within a fixed time constraint so here i have mentioned the real time operating system are used in environment where large number of events mostly external to the computer system must be accepted and process in short time or within a certain deadline so this kind of operating system generally used in the environment uh, uh, external to the computer external to the computer in the sense now regular user or the programmer utilize the windows 10 so windows 10 these are not the real time operating system so even when you are utilizing the certain operating system like windows 10 on our system and even if there is a certain delay in opening application software or execution of your program then also there is no such kind of major effect okay on the system but certain there are the certain applications are available in the market where that application has to be Uh, where in that particular application the task has to be completed within certain deadlines so in that kind of application the real time operating system generally get utilized okay accordingly according to the uh, time limit or the deadlines or according to the time constraint the real time operating system also being divided into the certain three types okay so first uh, kind of real time operating system we have the soft real time operating system. now these operating system are divided into the soft real time system then we have the uh, middle uh, real time operating system and then lastly we have the hard real time operating system okay soft uh, then second we have the firm soft real time operating system then second we have the firm 
or middle real time operating system and third we have the hard real time operating system now this dividedization of real time operating system is done on uh based on deadline constraint based on deadline constraint means in case of soft real time system some amount of delay is allowed some amount of delay is allowed in case of firm real time operating system only slightly less delay as compared with the soft real time system is allowed and lastly as compared with the all the previous two hard real time operating system where there is a no delay allowed understood so there is a no uh, strict deadlines in case of the soft real time system that we can say in case of firm real time system there is a certain deadlines has to be followed and lastly in case of the hard real time system the deadlines has to be followed strictly without any kind of microseconds of delay okay so let's see in detail soft real time system so soft real time system allow few delay uh, in processing application as i said in processing some task as i mentioned soft real time system allow few delays uh, with using this operating system but in soft real time system also some deadlines has to be followed some deadlines also are given to complete some job or the task so in this system do not the uh, do not allow delay in large amount of time so delay is allowed but that delay is also not so large so due to that mechanism their deadlines are managed by the soft real time system soft real time operating system so in the market some applications are there uh, where the uh, small amount of delay is allowed not the very high amount of delay so in that kind of application soft real time operating system are utilized now which are that applications or the uh, tasks which are there in the market where the soft real time operating systems are utilized like you can see your smartphone cameras okay or the smartphone itself then data management in the online transaction in the online bid in the stock exchange online bid in the stock exchange manje kay Uh, uh when you put the order in the uh, share market to buy some share or to buy some stock so mainly you must focus on this uh, first two examples cameras and smartphones or the online transaction so all of you are using the smartphones now even in the smartphone if you click on some uh, application now that application always takes some time to open that understood so in that case that kind of operating system which is utilized there is nothing but the referred as a soft real time operating system. so you can call the android uh, operating system as a soft real time operating system also you click on the camera that also takes some microseconds to uh, take the pictures understood also you do the online transaction net banking that also takes some kind of delay to receive the uh, money from sender to the receiver receivers so in that all the application the kind of operating system utilized that is called as a soft real time operating system and it is referred as a soft real time operating system because some amount of delay is allowed in processing that particular task or in completing that particular job that is the reason this kind of operating system is referred as a soft real time operating system okay then next uh, operating system you are the firm real time firm real time operating system now as compared with the soft real time system in case of the firm real time operating system delay is less as compared with the soft in case of real time operating system in case of firm real time operating system delay is less okay so here i have mentioned in firm real time operating system it accept the more deadline rules means deadlines are slightly strict as compared with the soft real time operating system in case of the firm real time system that is the reason here i have mentioned in firm real time operating system it accept the more deadline rules so occurrence of the missing deadlines are not getting more impact but could be show uh, some unpredictable outputs and due to that it can reduce the quality of all products so what are that kind of uh, application where such kind of firm real time operating system are utilized now one of the great uh, 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 example of uh, application where soft real time operating system utilized is nothing but the automatic door uh, open close automatic door open lock system now you must have seen when you go to the some uh, 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 high class mall in the metro city they are having that particular door lock system as soon as you go in front of that particular glass door automatically it get opens 
as soon as you cross that door it get automatically closed understood so in that kind of uh, system the firm real time operating system is utilized understood now uh, in that case certain strict deadlines has to be follow in case of automatic uh, door open lock system because uh, you go on walking and if that glass door doesn't get open okay then you might get hit with that glass door understood so that is the reason the deadlines uh, rules are uh, slightly strict in case of the firm real time system as compared with the soft real time operating system okay then different multimedia products also this kind of uh, firm real time operating system being get utilized okay and then uh, lastly and uh, mostly utilize the uh, uh, real time operating system is the hard real time operating system now here there is a uh, nothing uh, the in case of hard real time uh, operating system there is a zero delay allowed the deadlines are very strict in case of the hard real time system so here i have mentioned in the hard real time system all feeding tasks must begin to execute on pre defined scheduling time means if you want to execute some task at the 11 am then that task must be get executed at 11 am only not at the 10.59 am or not at the 11.01 second am also so that is the reason here i have mentioned the all feeding task must begin to execute on pre defined scheduling time and their given all task must be done within a allotted time duration so if the if the scenario is like task must start at the 11.00 second and task must get completed at the 11.5 minutes 00 second then that task must be get completed within within this stipulated or scheduled time only not before the time not after the time so such in if there are so such kind of uh, multi uh, such kind of many applications are available in the market which has to follow the strict deadlines so in that kind of application the kind of operating system utilized that is called as a hard real time operating system okay so due to that in this kind of operating system all deadlines are managed very strict now come to the example where this kind of operating system are utilized so as i already told you automatic control system like anti lock and airbag system now in the car this anti lock and airbag systems are utilized if this car if there is this, this car get an accident then that airbag has to be open within a microsecond okay what that airbag has to be within open within a microseconds if that bag not get air bag not get open within microseconds then there may be a uh, danger to the life of that particular passenger so that is the case in case of anti lock and air bag system hard real time operating system get utilized because that opening of air bag that event has to be trigger as soon as your car get hit with some obstacle or with another car so that is the reason in air bag system hard real time operating system are being utilized because there is a nothing kind of delays allowed in opening the airbag if airbag not get open within that stipulated time then there will be a danger to the life of that passenger and the driver okay so that is the reason in the anti lock and airbag system hard real time operating systems are utilized then airline control system so in the airline control system in the flight control system also this kind of operating systems are utilized as the a uh, particular aeroplane must be get launch and must be get reached to the certain location within a time only okay then medical system diagnosis control system in the medical field also this kind of operating system we are utilize now in case of medical field uh, where this kind of operating system can utilize in order to do the different kind of internal organ surgery what in order to do the different kind of internal organ surgery also such kind of operating systems are utilized in various applications understood this is very important then as i already told you in the missile system if there is a war is happening between the two countries okay country 1 and the country 2 each of these country will have their missiles so suppose oh, there is a war, country 1 is having the missile system with them and if they want to launch the missile at the time 10 am okay so that missile should be get launch at the 10 am only if there is a delay in launching that missile of which is which has to be launch at the 10 am if it is not get at launch at the 10 am but get launch at the 10.5 am then other country that is a country 2 might get uh, this country 2 might uh, launch their missiles and they can hit this country 1 okay so that is the reason missile system 
utilize the hard real time system so that certain missile must be get launch within a time only understood so that is all about the real time system its types and different examples so based on that there are the certain advantages and the disadvantages are there real in case of the real time operating system so advantage is what maximum consumption means maximum utilization of all devices and the system and that is the reason we can get the more output from the resources we can get the more output uh, because of this real time operating system then task shift shifting is one of the advantage so time assigned for shifting the task in this system is very less so as you know each particular task is given time and within that time only that task has to be completed and the start okay from that we can get the advantage of task shifting happen within very less time so time assigned for shifting task in this system are very less for example in older system it takes about 10 microseconds to shift the task shift the task in the sense going from this task 1 to the task 2 going from in the sense switching of the operating system from this one task to the second task so in the old kind of operating system which are not real time in that the time being taken is about the 10 or more than 10 microseconds okay but in case of modern real time system that time of task shifting has been now reduced up to the 3 microseconds so that is the one advantage then focus on the application focus on running application and less importance given to the application which are in the queue means if there are the 10 applications are there and currently the real time operating system is having this uh, first application under process so the most focus is being done on this uh, task 1 not on the rest of the other 9 okay error free this type of operating system are uh, very i uh, am uh, this type of operating system are very less errors okay as compared with the other operating system also with the advantages different kind of disadvantages also are there so one of the important disadvantage here is nothing but the limited tasks now this kind of operating system are designed and developed to perform some limited tasks so here i have mentioned very few tasks run at the same time and their concentration is very less on the few application to avoid the errors okay then second disadvantage which we have use heavy system resources sometimes these system resources are not so good and they are very expensive so resources which we have to utilize in the real time operating system like uh, resources you can see the memories or the processor so the cost of this kind of resources is very heavy very high complex algorithm okay the algorithm that are being utilized to design such kind of operating system are very complex because you can see the uh, main uh, feature of this kind of operating system is nothing but the processing the task within a certain deadlines only okay another disadvantage or the limitation we can say device drivers and the interrupt signals so it need the specific kind of device uh, device drivers as compared with the other general operating system which are not real time okay so device drivers are being need to be utilize uh, 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 specific kind of device drivers we have to utilize okay and their prices are also used to be very high so that is all about the real time operating system its types advantage disadvantage etc okay now we have reached to the last kind of operating system which uh, usually we are utilizing uh, every day every minute you must be utilizing that is the mobile operating system okay so the functionality of this operating system is same as compared with the operating system that you, that you utilize on the computers only difference is what these operating system are slightly uh, lightweight okay because they have to be utilized on the mobiles so a mobile operating system is an operating system that helps to run the other application software on the mobile device so if you want to utilize the music player on the mobile if you want to utilize the uh camera on the mobile if you want to utilize the some other cam scanner on the mobile other uh other scanner devices on your uh, other scanner application on your mobile if you want to utilize the other uh, picture editing software on your mobile okay whatever other application that you want to run on your mobile the only environment using which you can run this application on your mobile that is nothing but the mobile operating system okay so it is the same kind of software system software as a famous computer operating system like which you utilize as a linux operating system windows or other operating system but only difference is what they are uh, slightly lightweight lightweight in the sense their configuration is slightly light as compared with the uh, computer operating system in the sense the kind of resources which is required by the mobile operating system like uh, processor memory 
uh, they are slightly less as compared with the processor memory which is required by the operating system that we utilize on the computer that is the reason it is being said mobile operating systems are light as compared with the computer operating system okay now let's see the some popular platform of the mobile operating system or the some popular example of mobile operating system and one of the most importantly that uh, most of the people utilizing nowadays the android os okay so android operating system is the most popular operating system nowadays and it is a mobile based os linux kernel mobile based linux kernel based op open source open source system software that is the android operating system okay so it is being developed by the uh, uh, developed and managed by the google okay and first android device uh, using android operating system we are launched in the year 2008 and from that various versions of android operating systems are available in the market okay then second kind of uh, operating system of the bada now in the bada is a kind of operating system which is being mostly utilized in the samsung mobiles okay so bada is a samsung mobile operating system which is being launched in the year 2010 okay so android is a mostly utilized operating system now you can see the most of the mobiles are having the android operating system only it is a redmi or uh, other kind of uh, different kind of uh, mobile companies okay then another third kind of uh, mobile operating system is the blackberry operating system so mostly in the black blackberry mobiles the blackberry operating system is utilized here i have mentioned the blackberry operating system is a mobile operating system developed by research in motion rim company and this operating system was designed specifically for blackberry mobiles or for the blackberry devices okay then another important and popular operating system was the iphone operating system the iphone operating system was developed by the apple company for the use on its uh, apple mobiles okay so the ios operating system most popular operating system nowadays in the high class mobile okay as you know the prices of the apple mobiles are uh, higher as compared to the other mobiles and then also we have the windows operating system windows mobile operating system so in the microsoft mobiles this a uh, windows operating system generally get utilized so windows mobile os is mobile operating system that was developed by the microsoft so microsoft mobiles are also there in the market so in that mobiles uh, windows mobile system is utilized so it was designed uh, for the pocket pcs and the smart mobiles and this is also the popular kind of operating system being utilized in the market okay so that's it from the this lecture where we have discussed the four kind of operating system like uh, first we have discussed the network operating system then we have distributed operating system then we have discussed the real time operating system and lastly we have discussed the mobile operating system i hope all of you have understood so if you any doubt you can go through the lecture once again and still you have the doubt you can comment me in the comment section i will really definitely answer all of your doubts okay thank you all of you